Happy November YouTube, it's Kevin here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do the weekly Sunday review and we're reviewing the Maison Kitsune Crossing Foxes sweatshirt that I actually unboxed earlier this week. So if you haven't seen that, check out the link in the description. But if you have seen that, let's get into the review. <laughs> Hey guys, so here is the piece. This is the Maison Kitsune Crossing Foxes sweatshirt. This retails for 225 US dollars on Maison Kitsune's website. Um, you can get it for cheaper on Farfetched. I got it for a lot cheaper than that, actually. So anyways, um, let's talk a little bit about the piece itself. So it's a sweatshirt. The two foxes are in yellow and red, respectively. They're both printed on to the actual sweatshirt with printing that's a lot thicker than your typical Supreme box logo prints. So you can hear literally how thick it is um, with the frictionness grinding against my finger. That's really weird to say, but kind of it does the job, I guess. Um, so the print aside, you don't really have to worry about cracking as long as you probably machine wash cold and don't tumble dry, just like the instructions for caring for the piece. Um, the fox logo is embroidered onto here, so the red little embroidery is a really nice little touch. Um, the sleeves match the respective prints, so this is a yellow sleeve that is sewn on here, and this is a red sleeve that matches the red fox in the corner there, and so this is also sewn on. Another detail about the sweater that I'd like to talk about is the fact that it's not white. So um, this color right here, it's not white. <laughs> um, on a lot of the, I guess, advertising websites or like Farfetch'd or Maison Kitsune, this looks like a really white color. That's not the case. It's actually a tannish gray blend here. So you can kind of see the speckles of gray as it zooms in. And so that's something to consider when purchasing the piece for yourself because instead of matching it with perhaps white shoes, you'd probably go for something like a CDG Converse. Um, that's more cream in nature and probably would match the red as well. <laughs> Anyways, those are the general details of like, I guess, the appearance of the sweatshirt. Um, as for comfort and fit, let's start talking a little bit more about that. So, um, inside it's a little bit ribbed or a little rough too, um, but it's ribbed. It's not like a soft cotton sweater. You see a lot of these ribbing that happens around here. Don't get me wrong. It's still a soft sweater, it's just not like as comfortable or as soft as like a champion sweatshirt, um, per se. And the comfort peeve that I have with this piece actually is the fact that the neckline actually bends inwards. So if I could kind of, hmm, you know, try this on and maybe contextualize this for you guys, I think that'd be more helpful. So let's, Ooh. okay. So yeah, as you guys can kind of see here, the neck actually grooves upwards. Maybe it's because I have a fat neck or something, but regardless, um, this is like a little bit constricting, a little bit uncomfortable for me, but I mean, I'll deal with it because I purchased the piece out of my appreciation for the aesthetics, not necessarily for the comfort. Um, anyways, let's move on a little bit to the sizing of this piece. So uh, please do not trust what, the online kind of like far-fetched si sizing suggestions or like um, My Seven Kitsune sizing suggestions, go with your true to size My Seven Kitsune. Like, don't believe what the online websites have to say about this piece because the size medium that I bought is actually fitted onto someone who's 6'1 um, in both of the, I guess, preview photos of the sweatshirt online and if I had gone off that metric, I probably would be sitting with a super tight sweatshirt right now. So, if you guys are new to my Son Kitsune sizing, I'd suggest going one up on your true to size, just because it's more of a comfortable fit, and even though you might see a little bit of boxiness, it'll still be a very good fit on you. Um, so, I've done the same for my t-shirts in the past. This one is... A sweatshirt and as with all sweatshirts you want to have a little bit of room comparatively to perhaps a tighter fit and so 
Go one up on your true to size. Um, I'm pretty sure it should be universal throughout, but make sure to drop a comment in the comment section down below if you guys are uncertain or unsure of any sort of sizing that, you know, might come up. And so to conclude, just be sure to check in with the comment section, ask for a little help and give a little bit of your metrics and I'll do my best to help you size out my seven Kitsune products. It's a little bit obscure, but after you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. So, um, yeah, thank you YouTube for tuning in to this review video. I'll kind of go film a couple of these like on-person shots now. And yeah, thank you so much for all the support and all of the happy vibes that you guys have been giving me in the comment section. I really love interacting with you guys. It's a great place to be. Anyways, I'm Kevin, signing out. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any questions in the comment section down below. And we'll see you guys next week, sometime. Bye! <laughs>